It's finally here. The video you have all been waiting for. Our, Our furniture! You guys know we moved in together a year ago and we never did an official apartment tour for two reasons. One being that we moved in at a very, very like fast pace. Like we got married on a Saturday and then moved in here on the Sunday that we came back from Vegas. So it was really, really rushed and it was really hard for us to do like a, an empty yeah, apartment tour or anything like that. And then the second reason is because we never really felt like we had fully furnished our apartment. So now you guys are gonna get a fully furnished studio apartment tour because we do live in a studio and it's kind of small and it's kind of the reason why it kind of took us a long time to fully furnish it because we didn't know what we wanted to do and how we wanted to place everything but we finally are happy the way it came out it took a while but we finally did it and we're so happy on how it came out yeah. and Bailey has to go to the restroom quick break another thing is that we have a dog now when we first moved in here we didn't have Bailey and we got Bailey in basically February so we've had her for around seven months now yeah. first she had a kennel in here and then when she had like a big fence that we had for her and now she has officially been like she's kennel trained to stay wherever we ask her to like for example Play. place she makes it look bad yes she doesn't stay on it unless we're like telling her to stay and yeah. stay but at night she like sleeps good oh, yeah. anyways without further ado let's start with our apartment tour and we're gonna start off with the kitchen let's go and this is our kitchen as you guys can see it's not like one of the biggest kitchens ever it's actually pretty small for a kitchen but for a studio size it's kitchen perfect. it like literally has everything we have right here on this side a pantry which I don't even know if Ricardo messed up not that bad oh okay not as bad we as we have all our spices and everything perfectly eat it with her amazing organizations we have all of these holds all the spices I know it's a little bit this like well right now because Ricardo uses it doesn't put it back how I'm I go sorry, I'm sorry. down here we have like mainly like our extras and stuff I try to organize it as much as I could but you know it's a pantry and it's a small pantry but, but at least we have a pantry there's places that don't even have a pantry at exactly all. and then we also have like a full, a size, full size fridge fridge on top we have all our stuff like which is a little bit messy right now yeah. usually I try to like minimize things that we have up there um Ricardo has been organizing lately so he just kind of throws shit up there not really you do up. I always tell him not to put things up there and he just kind of throws them up there and it looks kind of cluttered I hate it I only like for like these things to be down here but it'll do for now for now until I organize <laughs> we don't have a full-size stove but we, it does it. Yeah, it literally has four burners like any other stove and usually we only use two of them anyway We have our trash can right there. We have our emergency fire extinguisher just in case like Edith burns down the plate Okay Whoa, there's times where you like the pasta and it starts okay. burning like a tortilla or something Emergency purposes Up here we have obviously a toaster, a utensil, some other stuff, blender, all that And then here we have our rice cooker Pretty much how the kitchen looks Ricardo it's because look, we have a big pan oh in there. Oh my god. And it doesn't really fit in there. Oh my. Moving on to our bedroom. Oh! Hello, guys! We have moved to the main part of the show, the star of the show. Our living room slash bedroom situation. We did tell you guys we live in a studio, so we don't necessarily have a living room. And actually, for a while, we didn't have a living room here. This whole space was basically our bedroom, and we officially moved our bed this way. I don't think we have shown them that we have moved it this way, at least not on this channel. I have showed it on my channel. Move the bed towards this wall right here, and that gave us enough space to have a living room. So we have this couch that we just recently bought like two weeks ago I think, right mm, yeah like, two, like weeks two weeks ago we've been enjoying it so much having that separation between the bed and the living room has been amazing because before this everything we would do on the bed we would usually eat on the bed we would usually work on the bed we'd really chill on the bed you know everything was on the bed so now that we have the couch we can watch movies from here we can work here we can do all that stuff but we basically got this couch from ikea bailey as you guys can see loves it i just kind of did some simple decoration we have this like base with some fake flowers this diffuser that we actually bought right before we had gotten bailey i'm talking about like a week or two before we had bailey i bought the diffuser and then i quickly saw on tiktok that diffusers are really bad for dogs like the oils are in the diffuser so we just have it as decoration now and we never turn it on and then i have this magazine here but yeah pretty much this is it for our couch area we did end up hanging bailey's portrait from pet canva 
and then this cartoonish style we got from Knott's Berry Farm. Also, we have holes right here on the wall. <laughs> from when our TV was mounted on here, we need to get those fixed. <laughs> Honestly, guys, thinking about it now, like, we regret hanging the TV up because of how much we moved the room around. Imagine if we would hang up the TV every single time. We would have holes everywhere. All over our walls. Everywhere. Basically, um, on this wall, the only other thing we have is this mirror, which I've been wanting to buy, like, a taller mirror that probably goes like from here all the way to there but they're like 500 to a thousand something dollars it's been hurting my wallet a little bit so we'll get to it but for now i have this one from ikea so the reason why we chose this couch is because i am very how do i say hard-headed like edith wanted to like get different ones i was like no i want this one and this one only and the reason well a couple of reasons why i wanted it this sofa has a little storage in it right under like the L part and also another cool thing when you want to take a nap this is the best couch to take a nap because if you could see there are two handles yeah, the rug messes it up all the time but basically this part pulls out and it turns into a bed and Ricardo dropped ketchup ketchup there already but yeah this couch turns into a bed as well we have actually not even removed that foam from the side yes like it went from a couch to like what size is like a, a queen size a probably. queen size couch or a full size so if we ever have somebody sleeping over we have an extra spot for them but a freaking savanna two pillows blanket on this side of the couch we have this nightstand that i bought from marshall as well as this wooden base with this eucalyptus plant from Target. Okay, guys, a little backstory about this. You want to tell them or do you want me to so, tell them? So, a little backstory about that nightstand is that we, I found it at Marshall's and it was like hidden under like a lot of other furniture pieces and it was intact. Like most of the furniture that they have, like at Ross or Marshall's or those places, they have a little scratch or like they're dirty or whatever. And I found it and it had no scratch, it wasn't dirty, nothing. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. It was only like $40, so I put it in the cart and Ricardo was helping me with the cart after, like maybe 30 minutes later, because we had two carts, because all of the stuff couldn't fit in one cart. To make a long story short, Ricardo drove past something and gave it this fat scratch right here. I was livid when I saw it, because I was like, no way. The freaking nightstand had no scratches whatsoever until we got them and we put it in the car and Ricardo, you know, took the car. So moving on to our bed, we actually have no comforter on our bed right now because it's the summertime, Ricardo and I get really hot at night, so we usually just use a sheet, is that what it's called? Savannah. Savannah to <laughs> the pedals at night. So we literally just have a fitted sheet and then just the pillows as well as those two <clears throat> bigger pillows. And then we had that olive green throw here except Bailey threw up two days ago and so on the one that we had on the couch we had to move the throw to the couch because the couch without a throw looks weird so blame Bailey for no throw on her blink on our bed right now she is sleeping I know she loves the couch and then over here I have this round mirror with the flowers that Ricardo bought me they're that kind, are of dying. kind of dying already but I love them they were like, so cute when they were alive they're still kind of alive they're gonna point down uh -huh. and yeah they pretty much just kind of like a little bit of decorations I don't want to really go too much into depth, but under here is pretty much Bailey's space. We have her food dispenser and then her water fountain as well as a purifier. Follow me along to our bathroom slash closet slash vanity. <laughs> So as you guys could tell, I've done a couple videos already where I start when I'm in the toilet because it is the best place for me to be in. And this is where I spend most of my time in. And Edith very highly dislikes it. I don't like it. He spends like 30 minutes in the poopy shitter every single day. It annoys me because I literally spend like three to five minutes. I didn't really even, like I haven't seen the shower how good it is or how dirty it is. So let's find out together. Oh, It's not the best. But we have a really big shower actually. I love it because Ricardo and I can take showers together and we still have enough space for like two more people in yeah. there. Literally. And then I just kind of have those two, what are they called? Like caddies? Like stuck to the wall and then we have a lot of our stuff there. Moving on, we have a lot, a lot of towels. And Edith still buys more little towels. We'll target them just in case. Just, just in, in case. case. It's just like a bad habit because I'm just kind of like, oh, maybe like next time I come they won't have them and I might need them. So I just buy them <laughs> ahead of time and then they stack up like this. They're literally to the ceiling. Yeah. And then here we have like all of our hair products, our sink, and then I love this mirror because, you know, it has a light and stuff. Also, if you guys have been like seeing my pajamas this whole time and been like, Edith, why the heck are you wearing wrinkly ass pajamas? Blame Ricardo again. Okay, look, we washed like two days ago. And he left them in the- And I left them and I haven't like really folded them. Folded and they, them. My pajamas were like 
this in the freaking cabinet. I literally just folded them at, right before this video. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason why they're all wrinkly, wrinkly. And I just wanted to have like chill vibes for this video. So moving on to, to the vanity slash closet area. We also have this bench here that I just dropped my clothes that I had on right now. Right there, but. We, ha we used to have this bench right in front of our bed. But yeah, here as you guys can probably tell is my vanity. I love my vanity area like literally favorite spot during the summertime it's a little bit hot in here because our AC is in the bedroom but regardless it's, I still freaking love like I have so much light here I have all my brushes some of my perfumes over there and then this chair right here is literally like the best chair I have ever bought I bought it from one of those furniture stores like Mexican kind of I think it was like Guadalajara furniture mm -hmm. store, something like that it was like an investment it was like $300 I think mm -hmm. but I love it and I would pay $300 all over again because it's like so comfortable and it looks cute. And here I also have this Alex drawer here and I have like literally all of my makeup. Wasn't but this mine before? It was yours. I gifted it to you actually. Yeah, for my, it was my birthday. Yeah, this is like getting. my makeup storage. That's where I have all of my makeup and basically where this beauty transforms. Aww. And the last thing of our apartment drawer is obviously our closet. This is one of my favorite parts of our apartment because we have so much storage for clothes. Like we have both of these racks. We have our shoes down here. And over here, I also started like doing this collection of these rattan boxes where I have like leggings and socks and more stuff. stuff here because literally like my clothes does not fit anywhere anymore i have so much stuff i also ended up buying this dresser i have a lot of my clothes there as well it has been a lifesaver because if it wouldn't have been for this dresser girl i don't know where i put all my shit mm. and then here is ricardo's streaming tv which is the tv that was right here before but we didn't show you guys this you guys right now but basically ricardo is now streaming slash like has his, all of his ps5 stuff in our room so let's go show you guys that really quickly so i didn't really talk much about like the tv or the dresser before but this dresser we just installed as well we had a dresser that was like six cajones but this one we bought last year i don't know if you guys remember a video we did when we went to Ikea and it was when we were buying our furniture and we were so excited to move in here. We bought it, but we never actually put it in here because Ricardo had a dresser with six cajones and that was like the most convenient thing to put in here at the time because we needed a lot of storage and this one only, we custom made it with only two cajones, this one and that one. Literally like two weeks ago, like around the time we got to the couch, we decided to bring this one out. It was at my parents' house. We built it. It took us like five hours. Yeah. It looks so cute though. Like it's definitely worth it. It doesn't have as much storage, but at least Ricardo's PlayStation fits in here. Yep, I have all my base basically gaming stuff, um, Edith's Switch, my remotes, my headset, Edith's neck thingy that she plays with, PS5 is down there. And then on this side, we have the JBL speaker yeah. as, that we use as like surround sound and my microphone. We have this very bright sunset lap that is like perfect vibes like at night. Mm -hmm. Very, very perfect. Towards the couch, ooh. Chef's kiss. This also took us five hours to build. And yesterday we went out and we ended up buying this. This was $100. This was $100. Like, it has 979 pieces. This is going to take us a couple of days. It's going to take a long time. This one was really fun. It took us like five hours to make, but it's worth it in the end. Like, you feel like the satisfaction of Yes. Like, and then, like, we're, we're bonding. We're having fun. Like, right. we tried to buy a home or, like, got into, like, the process of buying a home. But unfortunately, because Ricardo quit his job last year, if you guys don't remember that, Ricardo quit his job last year. His taxes basically don't qualify for the loan. And that's kind of sad. But it means that it was not the right time. You know, I always preach with everything happens at its right timing. So basically, we're on track to be prepared for the next season's taxes, which are literally like six months yes. away. So like, it's like six months from now. It's not much of a difference. But yeah, that's the reason why we weren't able to like get into the process right now. And we're going to have to wait about six more months. But yeah, um, until then, we're going to be here. And I'm so happy that we have like a space that feels cozy and homey and that we love as of right now because at first it didn't feel that way. Yep. I feel like it felt like really cramped, really small, and we definitely have outgrown the place a little bit. But with the new things we did, we gave us amazing. like a couple more months to live in here <laughs> again. But honestly, we're just like really grateful to be even able to be here, and it's because of you guys. So we really obviously want to appreciate and thank you guys for supporting us all the time. Finally, felt comfortable. We're cozy. We're very happy and. This is our room slash studio slash apartment tour. Right. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and, and being here us. and supporting us through all these times. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.